Uh, it's been a while since I did this review thing. And now I have the hiccups. Kagurabachi chapter 18, literally entitled Roar. So, just to break down the chapter, clearly, guys, if, if you're here, you already know what happens in the chapter. But, guys, friggin' Sojo's gone, okay? Sojo's dead, he's gone, no confirmation. They literally say his body was found in the scene. The fact that he literally exploded trying to get a last resort type of deal with trying to fight Chihiro even though their fight lasted in literal 12 seconds with a whole bunch of quick fast action stuff happening within a second. And for some odd reason or another, I, I, I really just have one question. Who the hell was the guy that was watching Chihiro when he got done fighting Sojo? Because like, like literally, like who was that? And then we turn around and he didn't say anything. So clearly this is basically just the conclusion of the whole situation going on with Sojo and you know Cloud Gouger and things of that nature. So now we are in this little council thing where it is confirmed that that little crew that they seem to have shown making it seem like oh they're gonna be here for a while. Negative. Most of this most of this crew literally got killed off off screen. Like, we didn't even see them die. And apparently, the only people that survived it were two. One is in the hospital, critically injured. The other one is in a coma with no legs. What? What the fuck? And clearly, this is textbook, oh, this guy might be a threat. And by guy, I mean they're talking about your hero. They're gonna be like, this guy might be a threat. So we have to go get the sword away from him, even though we have no recollection of what this sword does. Enough said. You need to leave your hero alone. First and foremost, the dude is literally saying, bro, the guy who's making the swords is my father. I have one sword that you guys have never heard of, no history, no recollection, you have no idea what it does, but for some reason you want to retrieve it, even though I know how to use it well. And clearly it's the whole, we want to have the advantage type deal. Azami, the guy who we met like two or three chapters ago, was literally the one who was keeping guard for Chihiro, make sure Chihiro is not known to this Kamunabi group who literally looks like, like a great value, Gote 13. And yes, it's just a joke, okay? Clearly they're not the Gote 13, but they sure enough act like it. And it's funny how the main person who survives and is talking about the whole situation about what happened between Chihiro and Sojo was the studious guy, the guy with the, you know, the hidden weapon that he really didn't get a chance to use. Now the real question is, if Kagurabachi is going to still be going, how exactly are we going to get introduced to this new character that we saw at the end of the chapter who goes by the name of Hiyuki. Now, in all honesty and fairness, if you want my honest opinion, the chapter was good. I enjoyed it. I got a couple of shock factors in it, like the person who was watching Chihiro and then vanishes. Then we got introduced to the Kamo Nabi group who is trying to find a way to retreat the Cloud Gouger because apparently we found out that it's a possibility that Chihiro took the Cloud Gouger and apparently the Cloud Gouger can be restored and there are some rules at stake. They literally said ever since we found out the death of Chihiro's father, we have been protecting people who is wielding the other swords and we saw how they look they they look badass one look like a child but they said we've been keeping guard so the real question is are they going to keep guard with your hero or are they going to keep guard with um with the sword because i feel like they're going to be like oh your hero is too dangerous even though we literally just sat up here and we saw that your hero went toe to toe with another person who seems to have mastered the sword that he chose because during the battle after the battle was over sojo was like it looks like the sword chose you chero was like yeah but the sword also chose you but you will never be on the same level as my father so don't even try it and chihiro was telling the truth because chihiro was trying to because chihiro was trying to tell sojo calm down bro okay your whole ideology of how you think my father is, that's not him, that's not my father. My father was this goofy character who was just great at making swords and now he's dead. I want to avenge him and I want to avenge his honor. I want to keep his honor present where he's literally like these swords were made for truth and justice and protecting the peaceful people whereas you believe that no, these swords were made for hell-bent war, carnage, destruction and Chihiro's like, you gotta go, player. 
and once again i also feel like this is why people are giving kagura bachi so much love because of the simple fact of how chihiro acts people's like no chihiro is the goat chihiro is the guy because clearly even though chihiro does have a little bit of talk to no jutsu he he will not hesitate to kill you that's the thing because chihiro even asked his homie he was like hey he he's weak guts all splattered out should i just go finish him off I don't know if his friend said that or I don't know what your hero said that. Your hero's like, should, should, should I go finish him off? I feel like I should go finish him off because, like, I don't, I don't, I don't feel like dealing with this guy again. I mean, who would want to deal with Sojo again? I wouldn't want to deal with Sojo again. And I'm sure you wouldn't want to deal with Sojo again. But it looks like Sojo's dead. <laughs> they say his body was found at the at the wreck site. Cloud Gouger's gone. Your hero has the sword. Now, the real question is, what is Hiyuki's gonna do? Because apparently Hiyuki has this new has has another sword that goes by the name of flame bone if i'm not mistaken don't don't quote me on that but guys i the one thing i am upset about is the fact that you literally killed an entire potential squad that could probably team with your hero throughout the entirety of the series you killed them off screen that is the one thing that is irking me is the fact that you killed this team off screen that has so much potential. But that is why I also feel like Kagura Bachi is about to get the axe. And I hope it don't because I literally just started reviewing it. Like this is literally my first review of Kagura Bachi. Like it's going to like 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 the fact that you are killing off characters that has so much potential to do great things in it, but it seems like the main people who we are going to be focused on are people who are wielding the swords. We don't care about this Kamunabi group except for Azami, of course, but we don't care about this Kamunabi group and this other guy who had a mask on who was defending Azami might be a bad guy if, if 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 we look at anime tropes the way we look at it you know oh someone's in the group defending defending the person who's helping out the main character possibly a villain just saying but anywho and they were still talking about the whole situation with the auction where they were like hey somebody somebody's gonna do this auction but they went by another name meaning sojo is not the main bad guy so the hunt is still on for whoever it is that killed chihiro's father but anyway guys that's me i hope you enjoyed my review of kagura bachi uh make sure you give this video a thumbs up comment below tell me how you feel about this chapter of kagura bachi chapter 18 i think it was an okay chapter eh, I'm, I'm, I'm still just irked that the fact that that whole squad got off screened like it's crazy how that whole squad got off screen and the fact that the battle between Chihiro and Sojo only lasted 12 seconds even though it may seem like it wasn't 12 seconds but in reality it was a 12 second battle with a lot of quick action stuff that happened in between so clearly I don't know how to feel about that whole situation but anywho that's me he's GT is one and why the hell do you think I am you guys make sure to do it make sure to what you're here for and I'll catch you guys in the next video and I'm out peace